Welcome to Alton's Money Minute. So a question that's come up lately is, does it still make sense for me to be charitable in light of the Tax Reform Act that we just experienced in this tax season? Mm -hmm. We just experienced 2019 tax season, which is actually taxes for 2018, mm -hmm. right? And it's the first time that we felt the effect of the tax reform. Yep. Um, so the Tax Reform Act. So some people are still, you know, a little woozy about that, a little, you know, positive, positively impacted, not so much, but mostly not understood. Right. Okay. One of the, these areas of not understanding is charitable giving. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of people at the end of the year usually rush, oh, my accountant says I need to give this much away to get a deduction. Okay. That was the case for the most part in previous years. What happened? That has changed. Okay. So does it still make sense to give? My answer for most questions is depends. Okay. There's two perspectives here. I'll give one and Jason will share the other. So for you to take a deduction on your charitable donation, you have to itemize. Okay, itemize means you have a choice when you do your taxes. You either take a standard deduction, mm -hmm. okay, which is given to you by the IRS, or you add up all these expenses that are deductible: mortgage interest, mortgage yeah. interest, uh, real estate, taxes. real estate, all that type of stuff, including charitable. And if that is higher, the summation than the standard deduction, you itemize. Right. Okay. So what happened? That has changed with this tax reform because the de deduction was raised to $24,000 for a couple, mm -hmm. okay? Most people do not have more than $24,000 in itemized deductions, mm -hmm. okay? So what does that mean? You probably are gonna take the standard deduction. In fact, they say about 95% of Americans are probably gonna be taking the standard deduction now. Mm -hmm. So that means only 5% are gonna be itemizing. So if you're in that 95% and you give money away, you're not gonna get a deduction for that this year, okay? Or as long as this is in place. So numerically, it does not make sense. It does not favor you in taxes mm -hmm. um, to actually make a charitable contribution if your goal with that is to actually take a deduction for it. Yeah. Okay, for the most part. now. Is that your only goal, Jason? Talk to, I know we have a different yeah. philosophy on why we give. Yeah. Well, so you're speaking obviously from a logical standpoint. From mathematical. Mathematical yes. standpoint, right? But um, there's a, I think there's a bigger thing here that's a little bit counterintuitive, but when you give, it really changes who you are. It develops your character and you become a better person. So I would ask you, what's the reason for your charity? What's mm -hmm. the reason for your generosity? I think we're on this earth to make a difference. I think everyone has a purpose and I think we all should try to live into that purpose. So we wanna be big uh, encouragers of generosity because I know firsthand of the fulfillment and the joy that you get from giving. Right. To see, to help, to lift other people up, to see the difference you're making in, someone, in someone's life to me is one of the most awesome things about living. Right. And so I would be a huge encourager of giving even if you don't get the charitable deduction because it's not about that. It, it's, it's about truly making a difference. Right. And, and I think our character as a human being is developed by giving. It changes your mentality. Mm -hmm. You come out of this kind of like, you know, holding on to, to giving, which opens up your heart. It opens up, I mean, just you just become a better person. And so that would be my main point. The other thing I will say, from a back to the logical side of things, the mathematical side of things, is there are still a couple other ways, if you're not itemized in deductions with this tax reform, that kind of improved a little bit for the the big givers um, the, 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 the the givers that are giving over the 25,000 over that standard deduction mm -hmm. I mean you went from being able to uh, go from giving up to 50% of, of your in income of AGI. your AGI mm -hmm. uh, and to now to 60% right. and still getting that deduction so that's one thing the other thing is now there is a little bit um, more of an advantage to some people by now if you're 70 and a half or older to do a qualified uh, distribution, to charitable distribution from your IRA. Now right. we recorded another video on that, so right. I encourage you to watch that one. Right. But they're my two points. Yeah. <laughs> so again, you have to think about the financial, but also the non-financial. Okay. And we're big believers, and I think a lot of people are, are are understanding this as impact investing is becoming a big deal. Mm -hmm. People want to invest in areas that impact either the environment mm -hmm. or the society at large. So we hope this helps you at least think about the financial impact, but as well as the philosophical impact of charitable giving. And we hope to see you soon. AC just kicked in here. Yeah. You're lucky. Because <laughs> you're trying to stress out? No, I'm not stressing. I'm good. This is fun. Mm. Mo better. Mo better. Yeah, mo better. Mom, we're good. Don't we stink. We don't want you to go ripe on us. <laughs>
Michael Ray Michael. <laughs>